Today in this video we are using a sample of McDuff's Lemon Spice and the Feather Stainless Steel Camisori. If you like the sounds of that, please strap in, hold on, we're gonna give her. Greetings friends and welcome to my den with me, J Mac, also known as the Red Island Shaver, your host for today's shave and man, oh man, another McDuff's uh, soap. I got a ton of samples from a friend of the show, uh, Sean Arter. Sean, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Today we're going with Lemon Spice. This is in McDuff's version 3. Unfortunately, I think this is unobtainium now, but I do like to... Um, oh, I got distracted by the scent wafting off of this uh, sample. I do like to do these videos, though, even if something is no longer on the market, because, uh, you know, if you find it on the secondary market and you go looking for a review on it, then Bob's your uncle. So... Get right into it. This is also the BBS.live hashtag bowl week. So we got a bowl lather here. And just <laughs> look at that lather. Um, this is just stupid. <laughs> this is just stupid, guys. I uh, I put the same amount of soap in the bottom of this uh, bowl that I always would. Just smeared some into the center. About not even an almond-sized, uh, like, you know smear of soap and uh, once the water hit it it just exploded I'm like come on ah it smells so good uh brush for today is my uh spiffo murdoch custom brush i only use it for bowl lathering though i do find it a little bit stretchy for uh face lathering so i do use it as a bowl lathering brush but therefore i do break it out for the odd bowl lather. I don't really bowl lather that much anymore, but uh, you know, it's kind of nice to, to go back to your roots. I always, I was a bowl lather predominantly back at the start. And we will gently work this in a little bit just to avoid getting any, uh, any brush burn, but man, oh man, oh, great scent on this. Lemon spice, we got Sicilian lemon. Uh, cardamom, lemongrass, allspice, citral, or citral, uh, lavender. Oh, it's just so nice. It's a nice, vibrant lemon, and then uh, and then the spiciness underneath it. And man, I, you guys know me. I love a nice citrus scent, and uh, but when you throw some other stuff in the mix, especially some spicy stuff, because I do like spicy scents as well. It just well, it just rustles my jimmies, if you know what I'm saying. I really dig it. And look at this lather. This was only two applications of water. This poor little Thirsty Badger lather bowl was not going to hold any more lather. So, a little bit on the thicker side, but it does feel perfectly hydrated. And yeah, that's a nice coating of lather right there. See, I, I forgot how to paint a face lather onto my face. Or a ball lather, I should say, just because I don't do it that often. But yeah, there we go. That's that's a nice coating of uh, of the sudsy stuff. So we'll get the hands dried off, and uh, we will get right into this. Maybe we'll go with a backup towel here. Uh, go with my official channel towel, and that is yes. I can't even read this. That is the Red Island Shaver. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Shout out to the. East Coast addicts, a bunch of East Coast Canadians just like me for uh, giving me this towel a couple years ago. Still love it. It's still in the den. I clean up the goatee here, make myself look a little presentable on camera for you fine people. And speaking of you fine people, how are you doing on this Monday? Yes, I know it's Monday, but you know what? Monday is just another day of the week. It's your state of mind that determines what kind of a day you're going to have. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day indeed. Razor is my Feather Artist Club SS Camasori. Absolutely love this thing. It's just a great, great shaving razor. We have a Feather Professional Blade in here. Links down below to where you can grab one of these. Um, and uh, the blades. And uh, this blade is going Snake Eyes, number 11. Number 11th shave on this. So we'll see how it feels. I 
Oh, that feels pretty good. Blade's still, still working. Good two days of growth here. Nice gentle touch. There we go. Nice gentle touch. Let the blade do the work. Just let your hand be a guiding force when you're using something like this. These blades are ridiculously sharp. The razor itself is well balanced. You just need to guide it. And use a very shallow angle. Very nice. And there we go. Yeah, these are designed, uh, the SS in particular is designed to shave at a very, very shallow angle. So you just want to get that spine off your face and then just guide it along. Let the razor itself do the work. And you're laughing. Uh, very nice scent on this. Scent strength, I would say, is a good solid medium. It's not like overpowering, but it's not, I wouldn't call it low scented either. So a nice medium. Definitely getting that cardamom and the lemon. Maybe just a hint of leather, of a uh, leather. Maybe just a hint of uh, of lavender as we go back to the bowl for another, another redistribution of this uh, wonderful, wonderful soap. Yeah, I'm really digging it. Really digging it. Nothing in the soap uh, smells fake. It doesn't smell like a fake fragrance. It just smells like a vibrant, vibrant lemon and spice. I like it. I like it a lot. Performance is very, very nice. Uh, my initial assessments here, nice and slick. Feels, uh, feels good. The razor is not uh, dragging in it any. And I'm not feeling any, uh, any burning or any ill effects on my uh, face either from this soap, which is good because, you know, sometimes uh, spices and stuff in a soap can, um, well, they can kind of mess up a shaver's uh, face, but um, this does not seem to be doing that. So go across the grain. Wow, definitely some protection and some cushion there. I didn't even, uh, couldn't even feel really that blade on the face, but it was uh, definitely removing hair. Nice. All right. Definitely efficiently removing that hair. So everybody's still excited about this, uh, this Never Alone soap. I'm going to keep on talking about this project. Um, very, very proud to be a part of it. So happy to see the results. I cannot wait until we see social media just flooded with uh, posts about Never Alone. If you're like me, you're refreshing, you're tracking about every five minutes. See if it's moved.
and I'm probably gonna check again after this <laughs> this video is over. I can't help it. I'm so excited to get that into the den and uh, get a sniff of it too. That's the really exciting part, getting getting a smell. Very nice. Gotta love it, guys. Gotta love it. Love taking this Camasori out for a spin. It's a great razor. I love my straights, but I do like... I do like the simplicity of a nice uh, shavette. You know, and being able to just... Uh, just load a blade in it and just go. I know that's gonna... You know, a few of the purists are gonna be like, What? But... You know, sometimes, sometimes just a nice shave edge shave is the way to go. I'm trying to dry those uh, those scales off. They're getting a little wet. Uh, even though they are rubber, you do want to keep your fingers dry. You do want to keep those scales dry, lest you run into some problems. You can see the lather is nice and stable. It's held up well in the bowl. And we'll just get a quick coating on for this pass. I think this video is going to go... A little bit longer than the last one, but my DE videos seem to go pretty quick. Uh, when I get out the straight razors, things do go a little bit longer, but uh, what can you do? We'll try our fake, fake our way through this, and away we go. Almost got myself over there, I think. Sometimes using a blade that uh, is so sharp and cuts so quietly, a little bit detrimental when you can't see sometimes, but anyway. That's all right. That's we uh, we carry on. Yes, you're not even really doing much of anything right there. Really got to get some more lights in here, I think. All right, so that was it for the Camasori. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just do a quick cleanup and we will be back uh, to finish this shave off. Back in a minute. All right, and we are back. And yeah, that was, uh, was a very, very nice shave indeed. Face is feeling good. Did a quick little uh, little cleanup there. I don't think we're bleeding anywhere. Nice residual slickness on the face. Skin feels good. Gotta love that. All right, we'll get into the post, and we'll let you guys go get on with your uh, Monday activities. So the splash I picked is going to be Beaver Woodwright Castaway. This has got kind of the same vibe. Yeah, it's got some of the same vibe. There's some citrus in here, I do believe. Some spiciness. I think it's going to play real nice with the residual scent. Good hit of alcohol up front. Whew. This is definitely an alcohol forward splash, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, that spiciness is gonna 
it's going to pair together real well. And that's one of the nice things sometimes with having, you know, a good selection of aftershaves at your disposal. And even if you do have some one-offs or you get, you know, a, a soap and you don't want to buy the splash, that you have enough stuff in your den to uh, accommodate for that fact and you can still uh, bust out a great shave, have a great post shave, have everything kind of play nicely together and, uh, and carry on as we uh, try and find the home for that. All right, well, that was the shave for me, folks. Thanks so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Appreciate all the support, and if you're new to the channel, liking the content, please hit that subscribe button down below. Helps me grow, helps our community grow. So until the next time, my friends, be safe, be kind to one another, most importantly, have a great day, need better shave, and we'll catch you the next one. Peace.